Continuing on our first 12 days preparation, we are now on the third day. My name is Brother Julian Mary from the Community Knights of the Holy Eucharist, and thank you for joining with us. Let us be reminded of the theme, Renouncement of the Spirit of the World, looking at every possible angle to have a deeper understanding of the worldly spirit to our daily spiritual readings. Our Lord gives us some additional warnings, judging others and desecration of sacred things. Judgment is not ours, it belongs to the just judge. Personal judgments without virtues enlightened by faith and the grace and the gifts of the Holy Spirit fall short of its purpose of establishing the whole truth. And so a warning and at the same time a reminder straight from our Lord, do not judge and you will not be judged because the judgment you give will be the judgment you will get. In short, God is the final judge and when he judges, nothing escapes, even the least sin we did. Everyone will receive its due. Warning number two from this reading is the desecration of sacred things, which is so common to people who are living in the spirit of the world. Holy things reminds us of the holiness of God and our vocation to holiness. They are from God entrusted to the church for man's holiness. They cannot be given to dogs and pigs. So also on our part, we cannot and we are not supposed to lower our dignity and vocation to the level of dogs and pigs. By our humble service and by doing good, we raise ourselves from the level of creature to the level of creator. We are children of God by adoption and our end is so high to be with God, so sublime, so holy, is the purpose of life that oftentimes we could not fully grasp because our minds are flooded with the spirit of the world. And so God, knowing the profundity of our vocation and the heights which he himself predestined us, our Lord teaches us to ask, seek, and knock the door. As if he was saying, have faith in asking, have hope in searching, and if you knock at the door of my heart, I assure you, I will open it for you with all the treasures of my divine love. To conquer the spirit of the world, God gives us the golden rule, not to expect from other people to do exactly what we did to them, but doing the good with the motives of love, which comes from God, who is love himself. We are created in the image of God, who is love. We are created because of love, and our purpose in life is to love. Another lesson from our Lord is telling us in this gospel, for us to attain our purpose in life and to despise the spirit of the world is the two ways, with clear emphasis to enter the narrow rather than the wide and spacious gate. It is because at one hand, human psychology tends towards easy things, easy life and comfort. And on the other hand, our repugnant towards pains, sorrows, trials, hardships and sufferings. Though pains both interior and exterior cannot be avoided because of our wounded human nature, God uses all of this difficulties, sorrows, and pains towards good and raising it to a higher level and a purpose, putting into them salvific and redemptive values. God himself illustrated redemptive value of sufferings throughout his life, beginning at Bethlehem and explicitly in his supreme and redemptive sacrifice on the cross. So, start cultivating virtues of seriousness Choose to enter the narrow gate, despising the spirit of the world. The virtue of seriousness doesn't allow mediocrity. There is no in between. Either you choose one and despise the other. <laughs>